Disorders of the central nervous system, including Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and brain tumors, affect millions of Americans and make day-to-day -day life challenging for patients and caretakers. The currently existing treatments for these disorders are only able to temporarily relieve symptoms and do not cure the diseases. Why haven't effective therapies been developed for central nervous system diseases? The answer to this question lies in a highly selective barrier between the blood and the brain tissue. The blood-brain barrier is the interface between the vascular system and the brain. So one of the interesting things about the blood-brain barrier is the endothelial cells that line the small capillaries that uh, form the blood-brain barrier are connected together very tightly so there's very small gaps between the cells. And this is in fact done by design in nature to prevent uh, toxic substances getting into the brain. But it also means that it's a barrier to getting things into the brain that we might want to get into the brain such as drugs to treat diseases. Really there's no good system for screening drugs for diseases of the brain. We're in the process of developing a simple 2D in vitro model of the blood-brain barrier. By co-culturing brain capillary endothelial cells, parasites, and astrocytes in a way that mimics the blood-brain barrier, we hope to develop a high-throughput platform to test drugs for brain diseases. By taking resistance and permeability measurements on the cells, we can test the physiological relevance of the model. It's really useful if we can get hold of uh, primary human endothelial cells. So collaborating with neurosurgeons, for example, is really important for us to be able to uh, build our models of the blood-brain barrier and to perform our research. There's currently two ways of screening drugs for crossing the blood-brain barrier. One is to use animal models, which is commonly used in biomedical research. The problem there is that the uh, endothelial cells in animal models are not exactly the same as in humans. Current in vitro models, or models that are used uh, in the laboratory, which are single monolayers of endothelial cells, clearly only capture a small part of this neurovascular unit. One of the things we'd like to be able to do ultimately is make this platform available to researchers both in an academic setting and also uh, researchers in industry who are uh, developing drugs for treatment of neurodegenerative diseases. The benefit of a platform to be able to screen drugs and develop methods for getting drugs into the brain potentially has a role to play in developing therapies for those diseases.